The president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, has tasked all Nigerians in the country, irrespective of political party differences, to focus on governance in order to better the lives of the electorate that has risked it all to elect them into office. The law, Lawan, was speaking in MENA, the Niger state capital, at the official unveiling of strategic senatorial action plan of the senator representing Niger East, Mohammed Sani Musa, a correspondent was there. Mina, the Niger state capital, was at a standstill as Senator Sani Mohammed unveiled his senatorial action plan. It was a roll call of prominent senators from different states led by the President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to grace the occasion held at the popular Justice Idris Legbo Kutigi Hall in Mina. For the Senate President came word of advice to political office holders to take welfare of the people serious and concentrate on governance as it might not be business as usual. That after four months or so, it is now time for governance and APC, PDP, YPP and every political party in Nigeria should face the issue of governance squarely. Our people are united on the need to have our security situation improved. Our people want their roles fixed. Our people want the economy to work better for them. Our people want to be united people. And all of this requires that everybody, regardless of his political platform, contributes to ensuring that Nigeria becomes a better country for our citizens. And that is our goal. While commending the healthy relationship between the governor and the National Assembly members from the state, he urged others to tap from the healthy relationship of those at the helm of affairs in the state. He also assured of actions that will better the lives of all and sundry from the state. I've listened to you. Coming back to the man of the moment, I wonder what Niger East would have gotten if this senator had been in the National Assembly longer than now. He's just one month old. And we can see the standard, the level of commitment, the dedication, and the genuineness of his desire to represent this senatorial district very, very, very well. You have a very reliable person, someone that you can go to sleep once you agree on any issue. And for him to organize this engagement, this interaction, tells you that the future is going to be great. The future is going to be good, and Niger East will be blessed with so many projects from the federal government of Nigeria. For the number one citizen of the Senate, it was a moment of joy and commendation for the senator representing Niger East. The governor also urged the president of the Senate to legislate a bill prohibiting heavy laden vehicles from plying some federal roads as they cause more damage to the roads due to heavy loads. And our members of National Assembly. It is my hope and wish that we are able to implement everything that is contained in this strategic action plan working together. Well, Mr. Senate President, sir, our distinguished senator made one fundamental request which I cannot share with you from. With regards to our votes and uh, I wish, I hope next time you're coming to be done. The convener of the gathering assured his constituents of maximum representation for all. He urged all in the state to allow the governor to work as they will be there to complement the governor's effort. In Miller, which will be the senatorial last in August, I want to make it very categorically clear that. If you take yourself in boxes and not travel, I will not attend to you. I will not attend to you. But if you 
you go to the organizing office, which I will have in every local government headquarters, present your cases, we will look into those cases. And today I'm making it very clear. Allow our government to work. Sani Musa emerged a member of the Senate through the Supreme Court judgment, defeating his main opponent, David Umaru.